Hi guys, this paint is for Shark Week, which celebrates some of my most favourite animals and features the poster from Jaws. I know people think that this movie is alarmist, but sharks are super awesome and very important to the ecosystem, so be nice to them. Start out this look by creating the outline for the shark and woman in white paint. Once you are happy they are fairly centred, detail the outlines further so you have a clear base to start on. I mirrored the poster image and I am following it directly trying to create a copy on my chest. I'm using Meron Paradise paints for this look. I then cut my jawline with the white paint and start on the background. The white takes up roughly a third of the chest and there is a sharp edge where the blue meets it. Take care also going slowly around the woman so you do not smudge your outline. White generally isn't 100% opaque so do one more layer if you need to. Using Meron's Ultra White Setting Powder, set the paint and add some more coverage. For the blue area, I am mixing white, teal, lagoon blue and black in various mixes to create a gradient. I am personally using flat brushes to brush colour on, but kabuki brushes and sponges work well too. I always work in layers, so I am adding extra colour where I need it and building to my desired level of depth. Don't forget your armpits! Using eyeshadows, pat the colour on to intensify the opacity. I'm using Sugar Pill Mochi in After Party, Inglot Freedom System 307 and a touch of Melt Fixated. To start the shark, block out the white areas or where the highlight is the brightest. Rather than putting a base colour down and adding highlights or shadow or top, I'm just mapping out exactly where the colour is so the lighter tones will stay bright instead of mixing. I'm doing the same with a light blue shade, a deeper blue, and finally navy. Keep your reference picture handy during this and keep following it. Starting next on the mouth, I filled in the negative space of the teeth with a deep navy tone. It's more time consuming, but again, it will keep the teeth bright. A quick dust of blue shadow over the top to tint it a bit, and then shade the teeth to give them more texture with a wash of blue paint. I also realised I wanted the negative space to be black, so I just added another layer on top. Using Stone and Jet from the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette, I am shading the edge of the mouth so it curves in, then, using some eyeshadows, shade and highlight the teeth to detail them, and finally add some bright highlight points using the NYX White Liquid Eyeliner. Back to the shark body, I am using a brush with wet paint and a dry fluffy brush to blend out any harsh edges using soft circle motions. I then start highlighting and shading with eyeshadows. I'm using a fan brush, which will make sure that your lines are perfectly placed. If you think about how you highlight and contour your face whilst doing this, you will find shading a little easier. It will make you think about the way the light is hitting the shark from above, which will help you to create depth. Use some black paint to draw on the eyes, and then I'm going in with Inglot 76 White Gel Eyeliner to highlight around the eyes and nostrils. Doing some final details, and that's the shark done. With the woman, I'm starting out with base colours unlike the shark. You want to start shading the body so that the light is hitting her from above, but keep all the body below the surface of the water to be slightly darker in tone. This is all a matter of layers. Adding the hair, adding her facial details, then shading the details. Keep looking at your reference picture and try to mimic it the best you can. It doesn't matter if it's not 100% perfect. Add a bit of white paint on a flat brush to create the waterline across her body. We want it to look like she is swimming, so adding texture by tapping colour on and blending it out will look like bubbles. Using a clean teeth brush also works too for texture. After some final shading of the woman, add some bubbles around the base of the shark. I'm using the same technique but in more circle shapes.
match your eye makeup to the paint and finish with bright red lip and you're done. I've also thrown in some links in the description below so you can see how cool sharks are. Thanks for watching!